Today we're going to talk about freestyle offset. Notice under the surface creation toolbar we have the offset command. Once the offset command is selected you'll notice that it has several options here. First we have type, simple, variable. We have limits, tolerance, and the order. Selecting the more button will expand the menu and we'll see what we can possibly display as the offset is being created. We have offset values, we have normals, corners, order, and tolerance. So for the first type, simple, we select our surface. Once our surface is selected, we have the ability to go in there and do a simple offset. Now notice, as I drag the manipulator, I have a distance value displaying. I can come over to the distance value, I can double click on the distance value, and enter in a specific value as needed. Select close. Once I select OK, you'll notice that the surface has moved and offset. I'm going to select edit, undo, returning the surface to its original location. I'm going to select offset once again. This time on the tools dashboard, I'm going to select the keep original icon. By selecting the keep original icon, once I do the offset surface, the original will be kept and a new surface will be created in the tree. Now I'll just right mouse click, delete the new surface, go back to my offset, select my surface once again, select more, and this time I'm going to show normals, I'm going to show corners, show order, and tolerance. This way, as I'm performing my offset, we can see exactly what my tolerance is, meaning how much am I deviating away from the original surface. In this case, we have a 0 .06 at the moment. I can come in and tighten the tolerance or loosen the tolerance as I see fit. I can see the order of the surface as it's being created, and I have my normal direction that I can simply select on and reverse normals. Once again, I will turn on my Keep Original, select OK, and here is my resultant surface.